Well, Zev, here we are, number three, and this one is particularly exciting. Where are we right now? In order to appreciate where we are, we have to start off with these mysterious metallic green doors that lead to nowhere. If you go back about a decade ago, 2004, there was a road. Those doors opened out, it was a driveway, and there was a road right above our heads. 2004, beneath the road, there's a sewage pipe. The sewage pipe explodes. And now what you have is a big mess. So the Jerusalem municipality has to come and send in construction crews to repair the sewage pipe over here. Yeah. And Jerusalem is not just any municipality. So when you send in construction <laughs> crews, it's a very special place. Yes. And when you send in construction crews to repair a sewage pipe, you also have to send in an archeologist because this is Jerusalem and you never know what is going to turn up. So they're fixing the sewage pipe. There's an archeologist by the name of Eli Shukrun. Who's here? One of the top archaeologists. One of the top archaeologists. Some of the biggest discoveries in Jerusalem and the city of David have been made by Eli Shukrun. He hears the bulldozers as they're repairing the sewage pipe. They're scraping up against something. It just doesn't sound right. He says, stop what you're doing. Clears everybody out. And they see that when they clear everyone out, that they had uncovered these ancient steps. 2,000 years old, right over here. Uh, from the second temple period, the time of Jesus. Exactly, and you have over here these steps, and they say there's only one other place in all of Israel where you have steps like these, four steps flat, four steps flat. Those are the steps leading up to the southern ascent of the Temple Mount. And they say there must be a connection between these two sets of stairs, and that the stairs that we're looking at right over here must be the steps leading down to the ancient pool of Siloam. What was the Pool of Siloam? Why is it so important? So the Bible tells us there are three times during the year, Passover, Pentecost, Tabernacles, the three pilgrimage festivals, where all of Israel would have to go up to the temple on pilgrimage. Now, before you can go up to the temple, you have to purify yourself, immerse yourself in a ritual bath, a mikvah. The Pool of Siloam was the size of two Olympic-sized swimming pools. Big. Why so big? Well, Josephus, the historian, tells us that 2,000 years ago, up to one million pilgrims would go on pilgrimage on these festivals. This pool behind us here, most of it is yet to be excavated, but the pool was enormous to accommodate the hundreds of thousands of pilgrims who would have to go in purity from here all the way up to the Temple Mount. Where we're standing here right now, to go to the Temple Mount is 600 meters, about 2,000 feet uphill. The terminology in Hebrew, aliyah regel, to lift your feet and go up, is a physical description of the pilgrimage experience from 2,000 years ago. You must be cleansed before going up the God's holy mountain. And you know, said this place 2,000 years ago, gosh, it was bustling, it was alive, and it's coming alive once again here That's at the right. City of David in Jerusalem. We're so close now. This was number three, now on our way to number two, which has a very serious connection to the Pool of Siloam. Let's go, you're Let's gonna go. show us.